Hi, this is Reverend Kyle, and this is Milo. He's a church mouse that lives in my house. And this is a bowl of delicious cherries from Winona. We picked them fresh ourselves. Now, last time we met, we talked about how Milo, although he really would like to eat cherries, they're not really good for him. The pits are too big for his mouth. The juice would stain his fur. And so he just shouldn't eat cherries. Now, I know this. Don't get me wrong, I love eating cherries, but I also care about Milo. And I know that he can't have these cherries. And so I just decide that when Milo's around, I'm not going to eat these cherries in front of him because that might make him upset. It might remind him of the things that he can't do or that he shouldn't do. And so it's good for me to eat cherries, but it's not helpful for me to eat them in front of Milo because that would hurt his feelings and I don't want to do that. You know, our friend Paul, who is an apostle of Jesus and one of the servants of the early church, did a lot of teaching. Churches would write to him and ask him a lot of questions. And one of the things that Paul said is this, don't do something that makes your brother or sister stumble. In other words, if you know that something you say or do or eat makes somebody uncomfortable or upset because you love Jesus and because you want to put that person's feelings first, you shouldn't do the thing that's going to make them upset. When we choose other people over the things that make us happy, that's how we can be more like Jesus. And so Milo knows that he eat these cherries, but he also knows I'm not going to eat this whole bowl in front of him. And that's what's been happening with Milo and me.